Yes. 
the gospel. Let us see what's one of their challenges. They were lying. Nobody to lead them. Nobody to give them an advice. They were blind men. They were hungry. No, hungry are hunger. I know is a driving force. Things that people would not do when their weddings are full. They would do so too when they are hungry. Other the people who don't eat this and they don't eat that and they turn up their nose at this and they turn up their nose at that. But they sit around the table when they're not eating for a while and no question is asked, is this poor? Is this vegetable? What is this thing mixed up like corn meat or turn meat? They don't eat because their bellies are empty and in their bellies are full. So hunger is a driving force. It's a force that our God can and can use for us because he tells us in his word that if we hunger and thirst after righteousness, we will be filled. So the Lord knows what it is, what drives us when we are hungry. And he tells us, when your hunger is not just for food, when your hunger is not just for relationship one with another, but when you begin to hunger after righteousness, you indeed will be filled. These men, and on top of that, they had a Syrian army. What is poor blind leprous men against a whole army from the Assyrian? Nothing. But you see, when you become desperate, when you become desperate and know that you have to do what you have to do, because your life depends on it. Oh, that the people of God would understand and live their life that our eternal life depends on our following the word of God. It is not if I like it. I don't. Recently, with all this COVID and all the rest, the government told us that people under a certain age group should not be going out. People with comorbidities, and I had to look up that word some time ago, reset it here, and go down everywhere to find out what was comorbidities. I find out that I'm in the bracket. Comorbidities in the age group bracket. But when I go to the word list, they pay them a last little bit of money. They said it is all in time. The financial statement has to be out by the end of October. Comorbidity or age or nothing. Those who are working at the body need to come in. What did I do? You think I sat up in the makers and said I have comorbidities? I am over the age. The government said I must stay in. I need the money at the end of the month. So I pick up myself and rain and all sorts. I am in my office working for money. For money. Yet, I think twice, God forgive me. I'm going out into the community. I'm meeting with my neighbors and telling them about the Lord because of the same thing, the same issue. But for many of us, when money comes into it, God help us. That comes first. Bills to be paid, children to be paid, and all the other challenges that we have. So the money it takes rather than the word of God. And I'm not saying that we should be foolish in what we do. I'm just showing us an example. With the infectious skin disease of leprosy, the lepers were removed from social contact. He was wearing morning costume, crying and clean and clean. And never one might avoid him in fear of being defiled. He was not he was not to purposefully enter into the space of the healthy. And I said, Lord, this is my COVID. The condition of physical blindness and out of their challenge affected the men. There was none to leave the other. They were desperate. The condition of all those driving was a driving force that God used and understood for those men. What can five poor blind leprous men men do against an army that was holding a whole city captive and ransom? The things these men had against them, people of God, were the very thing that they had going for them. They were outside the city in the first place because of leprosy. So some of the challenges that were facing the people inside the city, they were not facing. Their blindness caused them to venture down a road where the sighted would not have gone. Sometimes because we can see we are not going down that road and faith gets taken out of the way because we are going by sight. They were 
comes to singing as a father sacrifice. My house is full, but my fields are empty. Who will go and work for me today? It seems my children all wants to stay around my table, but no one wants to work in my field. No one wants to work in my field. And none of us sitting here today, professional people, none of us wants to go pick up an accident and hold one whatever and go and get the physical fear. And I know that is not what the Lord is saying, but the comparison is that because we are ready to enjoy, we're ready to be in our families and take on what the Lord has got for us. But we need to remember that there are some out there Push away from the table. Look out through the window pane. Just beyond this house of plenty. And our sister Queen pray about the communities. Just beyond this house of plenty lies a field of golden grain. And it's ripened into harvest. But the reapers, where are they? In the house. Oh, they count the children. Here the father side say, My house. But my fears are empty. So the lepers decided we're not going to keep this to ourselves. So they went to the king's house and they told the gatekeeper, Oh, some of us will begin to leave, but though we have a reservoir and we have much stored up for ourselves, oh, that we could leave our oh, house of plenty and let others know that there is plenty here for them to also receive. The king thought the Cannot be so. It cannot be as easy as this. This army has been out there for I don't know how long, starving us to death. And you're telling me now that they're just not there, just so. How many times when God finished what He's doing, we almost have to say, just so. Just, just like that. How easy it now appears. Something that was so difficult for us to imagine. They said to the reconnaissance to check out the state of affairs. And indeed, the summer of the second of human to check out can this be? And indeed, the Syrian army had fled. Then the people went in verse 16, plundered the tents of the Syrian. So they told us, a seer, whatever I can measure, 7.3 three liters in dry goods of flour was now in sold. $700. Where before it was 58000 we are now down to seven. And there were things being sold for less than that. Oh, people of God, what God can do in just a moment of time. What God can do in just a blink of an eye. The officer who had doubted the prophecy of Elijah saw the abundance. We are
questionable. But they might not be in this house today, but they may be elsewhere. And even when we're not all here today, people are hearing the word. My house is full. My fields are empty. Or should we turn that the other way today? The fields are full. The house is empty. But the commission is still to the king. It seems my children all want to stay around my table. No one wants to work in my field. I challenge you, people of God, brethren and friends, I challenge us today. Let us share what we have, the good news of salvation, the blessings and protection of the Lord. Let's share eternal life with our neighbors and our friends. It behoves us to hear the word and to obey the word. God bless you. Thank you.